ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Rye Reacts. That was really hard to do when you don't have a voice. Guess what? Remember those last two videos I did where I said I was slowly dying inside? It's getting better. It's getting better. I can't feel my nose. I'm As far as I'm concerned, I have no nose. There's nothing there. So I still need to record one more video! That's my yelling voice. It's... Oh, God. Why did I do it when I only felt semi-shit? Well, I thought I'd get better. <laughs> I'm okay. Sponsored by Speed Stick. Speed Stick. If you're hungry, have a little stick. I was gonna eat it, but I, I already feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> also, not sponsored. Because this is trash! Oh... That's gonna be fun to clean up later. Today's video is a suggestive video from Mouse Gaming Forty Five, who wrote, who says things that uh, don't really fit in this video, saying I already reacted to the video he said I didn't react to, but now I'm reacting to this video because in the timeline it's next on the list. Because I'm trying to do things in order, folks, uh, which I do feel bad about. Now I got a question for you, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think I should do it in order, like first come, first serve? Or should I just put all the all of them together and random wheel it? Like, say I got 45 videos, and then I'll just put on random number generator, and whichever one it lands on, I watch. Uh, I'm going to leave that up to you. If you rather I do it random, or if I should do it in order, uh, I don't know. I, I do feel bad when people are like, so uh, you got to react to my video? It's like way down the line. I'm like, oh. Oh shit, I don't even know if this guy who suggests he even watches me anymore. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna do random wheel uh from now on, but that's 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 not now. Today is ten treasures ever oh shit, I forgot the biggest word. Ha 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 I'm dying inside. Ten biggest treasures ever discovered. By our good man. The good man, Charlie Brown. Oh god, he's bald. Maybe he is Charlie Brown when he grows up. Matthew Santoro. I expect him to be corny but funny, bald, and talk about treasures. Hey, you know what they say. One man's trash is another man's trash. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's be. Oh shit, Matthew. Matt! Matt, shut up! Matt, I didn't press the button. You embarrassing me? I still love you, though. I still love you. I love you more than Nicole Arbor. <laughs> Not topical jokes anymore, because that was a long time ago. And she's a bitch. Okay, ready? Anyways. Three. Oh, come on! I just want to do a thing. Three. Two. Oh god, I feel like I gotta do it again. Oh god, I was almost throw up. I'm gonna do this countdown. <laughs> I just have to do one video. Ah! Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see. If X marks the spot and X is also ten in Roman. Man, numbers, I don't have time for your crazy ass shit. All right. X. That's only at porn, buddy. X is for porn. Is a real job, and while most of them return home, of course. Empty-handed, you'd be surprised to learn that some actually I don't think it's actually a job. With a fortune Would it be considered a job? King. So I don't think so, because you're not technically getting paid to do it. Or maybe you do. I don't, treasures ever I don't know. I'm a hobo! How am I supposed to always think it's skill of a damn mic? In Somerset, oh, England, Dave Crisp was I wasn't listening. What? Detector along the ground when he happened to stumble upon a giant stash of Roman coins. Exactly 52,503 coins were discovered buried in a ceramic pot after Mr. Crisp found the first one in a chunk of clay. Made from silver and bronze, the coins date really? back all the way to 253 well, that's and freaking awesome. Some dead guy's really uh, mad that he stole his coins. I hope it ends with a skeleton coming out and murdering him. Salary of a Roman guy legion. stole my wallet Today, once. He's a real dick. He got the beeper thing, passed it right on my butt cheeks. Yeah, I keep my money in my ass. It's a good place to put it. With their little beep, beep, beep machines. 
Yeah, not no mo. Number two is the Atosha Motherlode. Don't let's get On sassy 20, about it, Matty boy. After over 17 years of treasure hunting, Mel Fisher discovered the wreckage of a Spanish ship off the Florida Keys. The hour later, you mean tell me his last name's Fisher and he found it in the sea? An extremely large amount of silver, gold, copper. Wow, gold, what a guy! Precious jewels. Man, that took over two. He looks like he's made of pure leather, not leather. You know, yeah, you know what I mean. He's too tan. Valued at over 450 million dollars, and that's ah. half the reported treasure. The rest of the treasure is still what? lost with the. Can he help a brother out? I don't got damn deadly shit. Uh oh, I smacked this. This is all I got. That's all I got. This is all I got. That's all I got. This guy's got billions of dollars. Not shit. That's so weird. I hit like my my USB hard drive, and it freaking froze the video. It's not even plugged in. Spooky shit. By the way, you're on two minutes, three seconds, because it froze. <gasps> A boop. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm going insane. Oh, my head feels twice in size. Ha ha ha! I should be napping. Probably will in the half, in the middle of the video. 1966. Construction workers at a building site accidentally dug up a cache of medieval coins that went on to become the largest discovery of its kind in Britain. 1,237 gold Why can't coins, I do this? Four pieces I dig up the ground, what do I find? A worm. And two lengths of gold delicious. And chain, all so I had left. All 15th century were recovered and valued at around $430,000. The hoard was most likely Itch. buried by a refugee during the early battles of the War of the Roses. What am I doing in my life? Sometimes what are you doing, Ryan? Get a shovel, start digging. I mean, sooner or later you're gonna find something valuable, right? It sits in the British Museum, that is until I get there. I'm gonna pull an Italian job, I'm gonna be right back. Number four is the Curdale What's that have to do with Italian? On May 15th, Maybe I just didn't listen. Forty in Curdale, England, a group of men working to repair an Look, embankment on the river found river nuts. Covered a lead box buried with a massive amount of Viking treasure, dubbed the Oh Vikings. Hoard, the they did not know how to find treasure. <laughs> That's it. Seven thousand Anglo-Saxon coins from nine three oh, to nine I thought you were gonna say seven thousand for each. Various types. I'm pretty sure I can find that, the, that spring right the there. Of the coins it's worth like Viking ten cents. Colonies, but some were collected from various foreign sources, such as Byzantine, Scandinavia, Islam, and Northern Italy. The entire hoard is valued at over three point seven million dollars. You know, when those guys found it, they were like, "Foreman, yeah, I retire, peace." Number five is the white dog. Pause. That was that much money? I'm not gonna lie. You could literally take a box of trinkets that is in every man's house with at least like a rubber band, a nut, a screw, 10 cents. Someone's gonna find that in the crevice of my couch in freaking 30,000 years. Make billions of dollars. What do I get for it? Disgusted stairs is what I get. Disgusted stairs. Discovered in 1984 off the coast of Wellfleet, Massachusetts by Barry Clifford, the White Dog Galley Why is he looking at me like that? He's kind of weird me out. Flagship it's like he came out of the water for the first time. Like, I am a moon. Black Sam Bellamy. Over 200 Black Sam? pieces have been collected from the wreckage, including gold and silver coins, jewelry, and cannons. But perhaps the greatest find came when the ship's bell, which had the ship's he name found and cannons? voyage date of 1761 engraved on it, was fully authenticated as the first pirate ship ever discovered. Clifford didn't sell any of That's the actually really that cool. he brought back. Oh, you like what I'm doing here? It's called, this strategy I'm doing, it's called the, the normal reaction YouTuber, where I just sit there and However, go, much of the valuable gold that it was reported to have been carrying is still yet to be found. Look at that. Now there's finally a good reason to go to Massachusetts. Number six is hey, the Hey! I don't in live April there! While but you know, people Sierra do. Nevada mountains in California, Matthew Centaur has a, 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 a schedule? Of near mint gold I don't know. Coins. I don't know what he's talking about. He has an agenda. Cans were found, <laughs> totaling Sorry, Massachusetts. Coins. I tried to help you out. I failed really bad. That's money. In Where'd he find it? During the California gold rush era. You know, and I can't wait for him to say, Guy finds right in the backyard. I'm looking out. There's a guy freaking mining oil right now. I'm like, that son of a bitch. Like that? I'd be nervous. Okay, John, you found a bunch of gold coins. Just be cool. Don't make it obvious. Hey, John, how's it going? What? I didn't find any gold coins. I mean... Hey. 
Number seven, the <laughs> Army. Come on, on Matt. You're doing Ryan level China, jokes. You gotta be higher. Seven Chinese farmers digging a well struck the head of a large statue. That one statue was joined by the rest of the Terracotta Army. My brain just pooped out. What are we doing? What's going on? Of thousands more. With I think I just saw heaven for a second there. I think I died. It's estimated that the army consists of 8,000 soldiers. 520 horses, 150 cavalry horses, and 130 chariots. The army was constructed in the what? 5th century BCE under the rule of crazy talk. Shi Huang to help Matt, protect what are you doing? Afterlife. Are you telling me the truth now, or is this lies? I, don't th I think you're just crazy. In their oh god, I just looked at the camera. It looks, it doesn't look like anything. Statues received nothing for their find, and the government seized their land. Today, the value of the stone army is completely <sighs> unknown, Shit. but officials call it priceless. There we go. I get it. Priceless because it's a once in a lifetime find, but also priceless because Look, who's gonna he's buy shocked. a stone statue? What are you doing, Ryan? Can you tell I'm struggling? I am. But I gotta get that fear up. You wanna see, folks. I've been kidnapped by ISIS. And if I don't freaking if I don't entertain you guys, they're gonna freaking tickle me with feathers. Do you know I'm a I am a weak willed man. I can't survive that. Get off on my shirt. You're suffocating me. Now I just look like I got one boob. Do you want to know how much I got out of that last one? Zero. My brain, I'm not going to lie, literally shut off. I actually just rewound the video. There is about statues. I don't remember statues at all. Where was I? What happened? Ryan, why are you trying to do a video right now? Because I have to. And I'm really hoping this cold will be gone next week. <gasps> Come on. Get birth. Uh, uh. Good enough. What sea kind of treasure we got to find now? Discovered by divers swimming in the Java Sea off the coast of Indonesia in 2004, this treasure consisted of 271,000 artifacts from a 1,000-year-old shipwreck. It took 30 divers and 22,000 dives to recover the treasure. I, I always feel that largely made up of treasure is mostly going to be found underwater, but it's like, who cares? What? It's like water destroys so much of it, though. 4,000 rubies, 2,200 garnets, and 400 red sapphires. The collection is worth What the hell did you find the freaking treasure trove of a dragon? Auctioned off by the Indonesian government. Okay, I get it. Impressive. But I've seen Pirates of the Caribbean. Please, does anyone know if there were zombie pirates down there? Who's got the answers? Number nine is the nope. Black Swan Project. There you go. That's why I'm here. To give you. <laughs> Odyssey Marine Expedition, Inc. I hope Matt now messaged me. Thanks, Ryan. I was truly scared of zombie pirates. Off the coast of Portugal to an unknown location in the U.S. It was later real. proved that the coins had come from a Spanish. There's a squirrel on my. Uh, of Mercy all right, bye, squirrel. You staring at me through the window. They do that, coins, and it freaks me right out every time. They know it freaks me out. We're flown back Ryan, to watch the video. To be put on display in museums after the Spanish government sued Odyssey. Okay, but how much did they sue them for? Because if I was them, I would just like sell a small portion of it, give them 10 million, and then you've still got 400 something million. It's just math, people. And I number agree 10, him. Let's do something illegal. I think. Temple treasure. And now for the real mother load. In June 2011 in India, a Supreme Court gave archaeologists permission to open some very secret vaults. Located uh -huh. inside the ancient Sri Padmada Baswami Temple, this treasure was worth nearly 10 billion dollars in antique valuable. No, I did that. Some of the contents of this vault included sacks of diamonds, thousands of pieces of jewelry, gold and silver antique items, and thousands of coins that dated back several centuries this find made the temple by far the wealthiest oh, I just institution the book around there. and place of worship of any kind ever what? there's another underground chamber beyond the vaults that is presently unopened and that archaeologists believe contains more valuables at an estimated value of over one trillion dollars i understand if they want to leave it for now but you know the economy might get bad again you know you never know you might have to Dig up a corpse or two. <laughs> Ooh, a diamond inside a skull. I'll take that. Thank you. Uh, Pay off your debt. Matt. And kids, that's how the economy works. Matt. And that's all for this video, guys. Matt. If you enjoyed it, remember to one trillion to dollars. That you can catch my next one trillion video, dollars. And I will see you in the next one video. trillion dollars. I got through it. Hey, that's good. Uh, let's bring up the other facts. Uh, one trillion dollars. Listen, folks. I've never wanted to rob anyone, but holy shit, I'm gonna rob the shit out of them.
Oh, I'm kind of worried that someone's actually going to rob that thing, like, as I put this video out. So then, I'm going to get the FBI kicking my door in. How'd you do it, Ryan? Ah, uh, I make up this bullshit thing. I made a bomb out of bubble gum. This guy is some sort of evil MacGyver. We have to bury him in the bottom of the earth so no one will find him. You know, we, we put him under there, but we never actually found the money. Do you think he was just lying? <laughs> no, no. No, no, that's impossible. We caught him red-handed. Put a video on YouTube. Hey, I think I just made a video. Thanks for watching. Oh, I should do the thing, huh? Hey, I was scared of the video there. I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm going to tell you a little secret. If you like the video, you could subscribe, like my video, or write comments. Tell me what you want me to react to. I, if you're wearing virtual reality, that would have been amazing. But otherwise, it was shit. And oh, here's another thing that they don't tell you about. Sure, don't do drugs. But uh, don't do, you know, good drugs. And then try to record afterwards. <laughs> you ain't gonna get shit!